Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be looking at the solutions to question number five for biology paper two, 2020 for GCE candidates. So this is question number five. And for number five, we have a red green color blindness is a sex linked characteristic. So here we are dealing with the genetics and the topic we are going to look at is uh, sex link characteristic. So let's look at the questions which uh, were asked under question number five. So the first question is A1, which says define sex linked characteristic. So a sex link characteristic is just simply characteristics which are seen due to genes which are carried on the sexy chromosomes. So we are saying these. Characteristics seen as a result of genes carried on the sex chromosomes. So that is what is referred to as a sex-linked characteristic. So these are characteristics seen as a result of genes carried on the sexy chromosomes. So that was the solution to question number A1. So now A2, what can cause sex-linked uh, genetic disorders like the red-green color blindness? So sex-linked uh, genetic disorders, so this will actually be caused by mutation. mutation in the gene structure so when we have a mutation in one of the genes on the sex chromosome it can actually lead to red green color blindness so that is the, the cause so that was the solution to question number a2 so let's move on and look at the next question so the next question is uh, B and B says we have uh, a normal couple have a colorblind son using the genes R capital R for normal color vision and gene small r for color blindness write down the genotypes of one the father to the mother so if we have uh, uh, the couple being normal mean that both of them are going to have uh, the normal gene now since they have a colorblind son it means that the mother will actually be carrying the recessive gene so mean that the father's genotype will be x capital r because the father is normal with the y so the mother will be x normal also carrying so this shows that the mother is actually a carrier so, so these are the genotypes for the parents so for the next question we are saying using a genetic diagram show how the son would have been born colorblind so we are going to use a genetic diagram to show how the son would have been born colorblind so whenever writing a genetic diagram there are five steps which we need to so the first step is to write the parental phenotype So parental phenotype, we have uh, normal male crossed with the normal female. So this is the father and this is the mother. So that is our first step. So the next step is now to write the parental genotype. So we are saying for the normal father, this is the genotype. Then for the mother, carrier, that is the genotype. 
Then the next step is for us to write the limits. So we have the first gamut, and then the second gamut, possible gamut for the father, then the possible gametes for the mother. So those are the possible gametes. Then the next step is now to show random fertilization and to show the offspring genotype. So the first possible combination will be between this gamete and that gamete, which will give us a XR, XR. Next possible combination will be this gamete and this gamete, which will give us a X num recessive, which gives us a carrier. Then the next possible is this one and this one, which gives us a XR, small r. Then the next possible genotype will be this one, which gives us a x small r r. So that is the, our random fertilization. Now let's look at the offspring phenotype. So this will be normal. This will be a normal female as well, but the genotype is the carrier. Then the next one will be a normal male. Then here we have a color, not the color blind male. So this is how we can show that the sun will actually be born color blind using a genetic cross. So these were the solutions to question number five for biology paper two, 2020 for GCE candidates. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, you can hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you are notified each time I upload a new video. I'll see you again in the next video.